1. Complete the chart. Answer A. The Eastern Roman Empire. B. Rome. 2. What are lithospheric plates? Name the largest lithospheric plate. Answer. Portions of the lithosphere which are several thousand kilometers wide and roughly 100 km thick are called lithospheric plate. The Pacific Plate 3. Name the Italian cities that minted their own coins in the medieval world. Answer. Florence and Venice. 4. Write the names of any two civilizations that prevailed in medieval America. Answer. Write any two points. 5. Name the process of heat transfer represented by the given pictures. Answer. A. Conduction. B. Terrestrial radiation. 6. Mention any two methods for estimating national income. Answer. A. Product method. B. Income method. C. Expenditure method. Write any two point. 7. Complete the table related to the universities in medieval Europe. Answer. A. Constantinople. B. Spain. 8. Fundamental rights and their protection are very important in a democratic country. Substantiate this statement. Answer. Fundamental rights are those rights which cannot be denied to a person at any cost. They are inevitable for the holistic development of an individual. They are very essential for leading a dignified life. 9. Explain the characteristics of the Code of Justinian. Answer. The greatest contribution. Codification of all the existing Roman laws into a code of law. Corpus Juris Civilis. Justinian's code is based on the principle of reasoning, justice and generosity. Many nations adopted it for framing their laws. Justinian's code also served as the base for the code of law of the French ruler Napoleon. Corpus Juris Civilis classified the code, the digest and the institutes. 10. Define A. Diurnal range of temperature B. Isotherms C. Daily mean temperature Answer. Diurnal range of temperature the difference between the maximum and the minimum temperatures a day is called diurnal range of temperature. Isotherms The imaginary lines connecting places having equal atmospheric temperature are called isotherms. Daily mean temperature The average temperature of a day is termed daily mean temperature. 11. Write the importance of Timbuktu being the cultural center of medieval Africa. Answer. Timbuktu in the Empire of Mali was the most important cultural and commercial center of medieval Africa. Merchants from Venice, Grenada reached Timbuktu for marketing their merchandise such as gold and ivory. It was also a center of slave trade. The University of Timbuktu was one of the leading centers of knowledge of that period. The university attracted students from all parts of the world. The Great Mosque Constructed by Kan Kan Musa 12. How are volcanoes useful to man? Answer. The soil formed by the weathering of lava rocks is fertile. Volcanic ash is a good manure. Geysers are formed in many volcanic regions. Such regions are being developed as tourist centers. 13. Mention any three examples for the technological know how acquainted by the Europe through their Arab contact. Answer. The instruments used for making telescope, street lights of the cities and waste management programs, mechanical clocks, principle of the gear, surgical instruments, algebra, alchemy and trigonometry. 14. Answer the following questions related to earthquakes. A. Name the instrument used to record seismic waves. Answer Seismograph B. Mention the scale used to measure the intensity of earthquakes. Answer Richter scale. C. Name the deep points inside the earth from where earthquakes occur. Answer Focus. 15. What are the objectives of calculating national income? 
answer to help in calculating the economic growth of a country to compare the economic growth of different countries to assess the contribution of different sectors in the economy to study the problems faced by the economy to help the government in planning and implementing different projects to find out the limitation and advantages of economic activities like production consumption and distribution 16 classify and explain the clouds based on their form answer based on form there are mainly four types of clouds cirrus clouds these are feather like clouds in the upper atmosphere in clear weather conditions stratus clouds these appear in thick layer in the lower part of the sky cumulus clouds these clouds resemble huge cotton bundles and are formed due to strong convection currents they have large vertical extent nimbus clouds these are dark rain clouds in the lower atmosphere these clouds appear dark as it does not allow sunlight to pass through due to thick concentration of water droplets 17 write the features of the administrative system introduced by genghis khan answer the chief characteristic was its strong cavalry genghis khan arranged his army in the multiples of 10 the main attraction of the army was the smell cannons which could be used while sitting on horseback genghis khan also maintained a well organized espionage to connect the distant places of the empire with the administrative center the mongolians introduced postal system using horses the courier system of genghis khan was speedy and effective 18